Hello and welcome to Cardiff and Vale College. Croeswy College, Caerdy Davro. It's wonderful to see so many people here today, um, especially as we've waited three years for some of these learners today to graduate. So it's, it's especially, you know, exciting to be here in person today. I I'd like to welcome you to the stage party, the um, Geraint Evans Chair of Governors, Danny Saunders Vice Chair of Governors, uh, um, Sharon James College Principal, and Ross Flanagan, our Honorary Fellow today, and our honoured guests from our university partners. Before I go any further, you may have noticed that we have a few special guests missing. So without further ado, please put your hands together and welcome your 2020, 2021 and 2022 Cardiff and Vale College graduates. <clears throat> Thank you. So many graduates, and this is only half of them, because the rest are here this afternoon. Um, so many graduates of Cardiff and Vale College, we're very pleased to welcome you here today. Um, we are live by satellite on YouTube, so welcome to everybody at home, to your families, um, and to all of you who will be watching it later, I expect. Okay, so, so welcome. For some of you, you've had to wait three years for this graduation. So it's been a long time, and I want to say thank you for waiting so patiently. And I know the last three years has been difficult for many people here today, many of our learners learning in college, out of college, online, 
all sorts of things in order to get to your graduation today. So thank you for particularly hard years of the experience you've had. And thank you to the staff for enduring that as well, learning how to teach online uh, very quickly and making uh, sure you keep touch with your learners through this time. So we wanted nothing more than to hold your special days for you at a time we were meant to, and so I'm delighted we're actually here today to meet in person. I hope you've enjoyed the celebratory reception this morning and had the opportunity to reconnect with some of your peers and your teaching staff and managed to get some pictures taken as well. I'm extremely proud to be standing in front of you today at what is a celebration of your hard work and achievement. Every year, thousands of students study higher level or university courses with us at Cardiff and Vale College. So before I go any further, I'd like to share a short film with you to demonstrate what you have been part of during your time with us. I hope some of you recognise yourselves in that video and some of your staff that you may not have seen for some time. We work in partnership with a number of sector-leading universities and partners in Wales and England to deliver higher education qualifications here at Cardiff and Vale College. This includes Cardiff Metropolitan University, Uni University of South Wales, University of West London, Kingston University London, University of Wales Trinity St David's and Pearson to ensure you have the best opportunity to gain university level qualifications while staying close to home. It makes me and my colleagues, your tutors and lecturers that have worked with you over the years, extremely proud to witness you all graduating today and with the qualifications you set out to achieve and with the skills you developed along the way. Achieving the qualifications you have achieved takes a huge amount of hard work dedication and commitment alongside your daily life. I am aware that many of you means juggling your studies alongside many other commitments, including work and family life. And I think this year we have more young babies here uh, at the graduation ceremony than we've ever had before. So I, I, I don't know if that was COVID or um, I, uh, I have to look into that. Okay. Um, you are leaving us highly skilled and employable people, and I have no doubt that you will go on to achieve your goals. I look forward to hearing your success stories over the coming years. To start this morning's official proceedings, I have the great honour of presenting our first of today's honorary fellowships. The honorary fellowship is awarded to an individual for distinction achieved within their field of work, notable contribution to business, or the community and demonstrating a commitment to their work that resonates with the college vision and values. This morning, it may, gives me great pleasure to present a CVC Honorary Fellowship to Ross Flanagan. 
Ross receives this honorary fellowship in recognition of the notable contribution he has had made, he's made to boosting the employment and career prospects of people in the Cardiff and Vale region. After a first career phase as a Royal Air Force specialising in air traffic control and operations, Ross joined Deloitte as head of the tax support unit in November 2005. He has since held a range of senior positions within the company, where he's currently head of business support services and delivery centres leader. He is eminent in his industry, having been named Senior Manager of the Year at the 2016 Wales Shared Services Awards, and now serving as an Executive Board Member at the Welsh Contact Centre Shared Services Forum. Ross is committed to the creation and transformation of centralised business operations and to unleashing the greater potential to people. His work has resulted in the establishment of almost 1,500 jobs in the region by changing recruitment and business models, along with the launch of apprenticeships and other pioneering development programmes that help individuals overcome barriers to employment. I've had the pleasure of working with Ross closely for a number of years. Uh, he tells me that 120 apprentices have gone through Deloitte since they started it, and Deloitte was not a traditional apprenticeship industry. It was a, where you went after you graduated. I've met some of the learners as well, personally, and we have a new programme with, jointly delivered with Deloitte, which is New Beginnings, to get adults back into employment. So there, is, you know, there aren't enough words, really, to express our gratitude as a college for the work that we have done together with Deloitte and the work that Deloitte have done for the community, led by Ross Flanagan. So I'd like to welcome Ross Flanagan to say a few words. Gosh. Well, principal, graduates, uh, honoured guests, family, friends and staff and partners at Cardiff Vale College. Hello. Well, this is a surprise. I, I didn't expect to be gowned up again in my lifetime. Um, but I do feel like a bit of an imposter standing in front of all of you graduates here who've worked so very hard to achieve your qualifications and earn the right to be here today, whereas mine is an honorary award. However, while it is a surprise, it's also an immense privilege to now be permanently associated with Cardiff and Vale College. So you know, thank you, Principal Martin and your team for the award of this honorary fellowship, uh, which I accept with gratitude, humility, and pride. I'm going to repeat some of what, what Kay has said, so I think uh, I'd like to draw out some of the points, because my relationship with this college, or at least the work we've done together for the employment prospects of people in this region, is the thing of which I am most proud of in, in my career. So why am I here receiving this honor? In a nutshell, it's for creating jobs locally and for breaking down barriers to employment for people in our communities. So if I can explain a little bit more, after an initial and very rewarding career phase as an RAF officer and then studying for an MBA, I joined this company called Deloitte, uh, based in their offices here in Cardiff, and spending a lot of time in London and elsewhere. Deloitte was and is a, a large accounting and consulting firm, a very prestigious brand uh, in the market, albeit quite small in Cardiff at that time. I was hired to set up a team of six people, a team that would do things a little bit differently to how things had been done before within the company. And I grasped that principle of being able to do things differently, to push the boundaries and advocate for much more to be done here in Cardiff, based on the success of that first very small team, as well as what our city and our region have to offer, a great place and great people. In doing so, I also insisted we didn't need to hire all graduates from the top universities or even people with extensive financial service experience. I said I would take people and teach them, working with their potential and not their past. Big promises, and I had to ask the college to help me deliver them, and boy, did they deliver. So by removing the university and experience criteria, we opened doors to people uh, at Deloitte who would never have been able to build their careers with us. People who'd worked in shoe shops or ice cream parlors or been volunteers, 
They brought fabulous customer service skills and work ethics, and it was all about their potential. And those people have gone on to deliver on that potential with very successful and indeed lucrative careers. Most of my senior managers uh, joined uh, in those early days. Most of our leadership roles are filled from internal promotions. And many more people have taken the experience of working with us for a number of years to go on and have great success in other organizations. Getting on for 3,000 people now who've worked in our teams in Cardiff, and today we actually have over 1,600 permanent roles from that initial team of six. There's a huge range. One of our business units um, even employs people of foreign origin who live locally. They use their language skills to help us do work for our clients' international operations from right here in South Wales. And what's really nice is that where I and, and Deloitte lead, many others have followed. The Welsh Government have described Deloitte's growth in Cardiff uh, under my leadership as the game changer for their financial and professional services sector strategy. Our success has been held up as an example for many other companies who have been con convinced to set up new centralised operations here as well, with thousands more jobs created. And for many of my colleagues, Cardiff and Vale College has provided them with management and business training along the way within the business. And the big one, the cherry on my cake, is the apprenticeship that Kay referenced that we established, enabling people as young as 16 to step into proper, um, proper jobs in big business straight from school. And over 120 have joined through our apprenticeship. We have a commitment to 25 more already for this coming year. And they're amazing young people, all selected and supported by this amazing college. And nearly all of them are still with us, building their careers. Some are now in big team leader roles, some are qualified accountants, we have management consultants, and so many more different roles. They've massively exceeded our expectations. And I'm also extremely pleased that other big names have subsequently worked with the college to do something similar, creating more opportunities at great companies in Cardiff for high quality careers through apprenticeships. And finally, with the college, I've secured funding for a scheme called New Beginnings, providing training, qualifications, and employed, employability skills for local people and new arrivals who need help to start, restart, or change their career. And this scheme is fantastic. The funding we provide covers the costs of travel and IT and meals and childcare, as well as the academic aspects. It makes sure that it's accessible to all. So Cardiff and Vale College, thank you for everything that you do for us for our, our teams and our people in the community. And finally, I turn to those who graduate and receive qualifications today. Well, what a great place to study and learn. Um, I hope you've managed to enjoy the experience. And for those who were a couple of years ago, I hope you remember the experience. Uh, it's very interesting to hear Kate talk about three years worth of, of uh, graduates here today. But you've made an excellent choice for the pathway to your qualification. Uh, you've done it your way. Well done, because I know Many of you must have worked really hard just to break down your own barriers to education and success, and this will not have been easy. But that type of determination and courage it speaks volumes and should set you up well, whatever lies ahead. And I want to tell you just a small personal thing. I, I grew up in, in, in social housing, and the establishment did not have high hopes for people like me. Yet, like you, I was determined, and here I am with this honorary fellowship um, and a great career, mostly behind me, um, and if I can do it, then I know all of you can. So please you know, take your qualification out into the world with pride. It gives you a launch platform to a great career to achieve your potential in a future that can bring you career success and prosperity for yourself and your family. I wish every one of you the greatest success in your careers and your lives ahead. Thank you. Okay. Okay, th thank you, Ross, and congratulations. And uh, thank you for the kind words about, about the college, and we look forward to a number of years of continued partnership together. So it's now time for the graduation ceremony.
Sharon James, Principal of Cardiff and Vale College, will lead the proceedings this morning. So please give her a warm welcome. Deal can vote. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here this morning. And before I begin, I would like to echo those key words and congratulate you all on your fantastic achievements. We are all so very proud of you at Cardiff and Vale College. Well done on all your hard work. Delighted. Enjoy today, savour the moment and celebrate all your success. And just a huge well done to Ross, a well-deserved recipient of our fellowship. You have really transformed lives, not only in Cardiff and Bay College, but throughout Cardiff. So thank you, a well-deserved award. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, I will be inviting each of you graduating today to the stage by reading the name of each course, followed by the individual names of those that are here today. Thank you to Kevin and to James for their fantastic demonstration, my glamorous assistants. You should all know now when to get ready um, and when to be called up to the stage. When you come on stage, if you could meet our group principal, Kay Martin, shake hands and then exit this side of the stage. Thank you very much. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. First up is the CIPD Advanced Diploma. Graduating today with a CIPD Advanced Diploma are Stacey Gristock. Thank you. Deborah Jarman. Okay. Dawn Lubin. Okay. Rebecca Marks. Next, we have the CIM Certificate in Professional Marketing. Graduating today with a CIM Diploma in Professional Marketing is Eleanor Davis. Well done. And next, we have the CIM Diploma in Professional Marketing Graduating today with a CIM Diploma in Professional Marketing is Jane Felix Richards. Now, the Intermediate Certificate in Human Resources Management. Graduating today with an Intermediate Certificate in Human Resources Management are Bethan Griffiths. <laughs> Tiffany Heath. <laughs> Rebecca MacArthur. Sharon Eckley. And Sean Weaver. And next we have the CIPD Advanced Diploma in Human Resource Management. Graduating today with a CIPD Advanced Diploma in Human Resource Management is Jade Oliver Morris. And Rian Robinson. And next we have the Diploma in Therapeutic Counselling. Graduating today with a Diploma in Therapeutic Counselling are Tareen Ashad. <laughs> Katie Davis.
Jamie Edwards. Can you give me the name? Nicola Hall. Victoria Hinder. Liam John. Sabim Kempson. Nicola Kitch. Rachel Lewis. David Mercatley. Kate Merriman. Julia Nadim. <laughs> Razul Noreen Zada. Did I get it right? Thank you. Tove Oliver. Chloe Parker. <laughs> Jess Pope. <laughs> Michael Samford. <laughs> Anne Marie Shelbourne. Helen Warrillow. And Jackie Wheeler. Next we have the Certificate for Advanced Practitioners in Schools and Colleges. First we have Tracy Chandrinos. Damons Darford. <laughs> Amy Hawkins. <laughs> Lisa Oten. <laughs> Maria Reynes. Laura Woodfull, Woolford. And Taichia Ula. Well done. And next we have the Professional Certificate in Education delivered in partnership with the University of South Wales. Graduating today with a professional certificate in education are Cavell Bia. <laughs> Gethin Bibbs. Natalie Braithwaite. Well done. Gethin Hill. Christopher Hillier. <laughs> Ian McCormick.
Lona Knott. Ruth Quinn. Javid Rafi. Sharon Riley. Rachel Short. Duncan Smith. <laughs> Daniel Sweet. Stephen Winkley. Stephen Winkley. And David Durridge. And next, I'd like you to give a big, huge cheer because in the diploma of CIPD, we missed an important lady. So I'd like to call up to the stage for graduating with a CIPD diploma is Sarah Pull. <laughs> okay. And next we have the Professional Graduate Certificate in Education, delivered in partnership with the University of South Wales. Graduating today with the Professional Graduate Certificate in Education are Shona Driscoll, <laughs> Emma Andrews, Megan East. <laughs> Josephine Gretsch. <laughs> Sudaf Khan. <laughs> Luna Kwan. Gemma Stormy. <laughs> Laura McLeod. <laughs> Robert Peters. <laughs> Lauren Riley. Carly Roach. <laughs> Judith Scanlon. <laughs> Karen Smith. <laughs> Matthew Williams. And last but not least, graduating with the PGC is Lee Whittaker. <laughs> I'd just like to end by congratulating all the graduates today. You should be really proud of your achievements. Well done all, thank you. Okay, thank you, and thank you, Sharon, to uh, getting nearly all the names right, I think. There was one or two, I think, I don't know. Anyway, okay, no, thank you. Um, that concludes the 
Cardiff and Vale HE graduation ceremony this morning. I'm extremely proud to have been here today to formally recognise your achievement and celebrate with your teachers, families and friends. We would like to get a group photograph of all of you, so that's where the work starts. Um, so after I finish, if your graduates could make your way to the stage um, for that photograph. Please make sure you return your gowns to the fourth floor after you've taken all the pictures. And don't forget to share your social media posts of your celebrations with us using hashtag CAVC graduation, um, hashtag CAVC gradio. The details should be on screen. Oh, there we are. Great. All that's left to me now is to thank you for allowing us to mark your achievements here today and to say a final congratulations to you here. And before I wish you a safe journey, I just want to remind you of you know, famous words of Nelson Mandela, which Sharon and I use all the time, which education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. Okay, so the, you, know, you now, I expect a lot of all of you. You are CAVC graduates and you need to go out and change the world. You need to go out and do something something like Ross has done, changing the lives of individuals that you meet, helping each other on the way, keeping your family safe too. So if I could ask you to have a safe journey home, but remember your responsibility now as graduates, you have that responsibility to go out and use your skills, knowledge and experience now to help change the world and make a better place. So congratulations to you all, and I hope you have a, enjoy the rest of your day.